History was made on the 11th of December 2017. As 14 year old Miss Joy Ezechi Kamnayo became the first teenage one day governor of Abia State, an event hosted by the special advisor to the governor on teenage matters, Mrs. Chineme Maumi Asika, who collaborated with the Office of the Executive Governor and Secondary School Education Management Board. Miss Joy Ezechi Kamnayo received a full scholarship for her tertiary education and a cash prize of 500,000 naira cash. The major high point of the event was when she declared able to of December as Abia Teens Day accompanied with a public holiday. This platform was initiated to help teach teenagers leadership and hard work. All thanks to the Executive Governor of Abia State, Dr. Okeze Victor Ibarazu, who had also promised to sustain the project. The runner-ups also got amazing prizes which included 200,000 Naira for the Deputy Governor, 100,000 Naira for the Secretary to the State Government and 50,000 Naira each for other 17 Commissioners. Okay, nobody wants to be 
be a teacher, but they are going to flog you for not wanting to be a teacher. A teacher there. Please, can we clap for her? <laughs> without teachers, without teachers, yeah, my parents are teachers too. So, we, one way or the other, we want to come back and teach other people. Who wants to be something different that we have mentioned here? So, scream it from there. A banker. Who else wants, wants to be another thing that I have not heard? Computer engineering. Are you talented? Are you between 16 and 19 years of age? Then we have exciting news for you. Register and be auditioned for the 1910 reality TV series. How to register? Make a payment of 5,000 Naira to 19 Works GT Bank account. Keep your payment transfer details safe. Go to realitytv.19hub.com and fill the form. Record a one minute video of yourself being talented and upload to YouTube stating your name, age, state of residence, my superpower to audition video for 19 Reality TV. Copy your YouTube video link and place on what is your superpower alongside a brief story about yourself. Put in the details of your payment and click submit. Amazing! Keep checking your email to get our feedback. Yes. 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 Yes.
can make you drop out of school. Number two. Fantastic, you are very intelligent. Pregnancy, teenage pregnancy, that, that is caused by lack of focus, lack of discipline. What else? Fantastic, can we clap on him? He said, Faultism. Faultism. Do you know a lot of little kids like you are in home? Yes. You don't know. So let me tell you a story that happened this year. Early this year, you are a special advisor to the governor. So when there are juvenile cases, juvenile cases has to do with teenagers. When there are juvenile cases in police, they call me to come and handle it. And I got a call from the commissioner of police. He said, we have two girls that are in police custody and they've been there for like two months. What did they do? And let me even tell you, shocking with their age. One is 12 and one is 14. Yes. And they were locked up. What happened? They were trying to initiate another child who is 12 years old. Who was? Because that child is dead and her body is still in in, in a mortuary. And they were trying to initiate her. It happened in Aba, I'm not saying in Lagos, or it happened in Abia State. They were trying to initiate her and she they gave her something that she took and she died. Cultism can make you lose your life or can make you drop out of school. So We've mentioned three things that can help us to, so that we don't lose focus. We don't drop our dreams. Number one is what? Why am I here? It's for you to find out why you are here. If the girls knew why they were here, they wouldn't have gotten themselves into tortism in the first place. So number one, you need to know why you are here. Number two, who am I? Fantastic. Who are you? Do you know who you are? What you are made of? Do you know you are different from even your twin brother, your twin sister? You don't need to be like any other person. So of course we see celebrities on TV and we want to be like them. You are unique. If you discover the fact that you are very unique, you won't want to be like every other person. Number three. You need to be disciplined. You need to be disciplined. Very good. And being disciplined, we mention certain things that can make us to lose discipline. Number four thing is Lack of focus. What did I say? Lack of focus. If you lack focus, if you don't understand the fact that you need to discipline yourself and be focused, you will struggle. Even in school, you will struggle. And the final point. Hello, students. The final point I want to give you is lack of planning. Lack of planning. If you don't plan, you want to be a doctor. If you don't read, your whole plan is reading. If you don't start now to start reading, if you have a chance in the next two months, and you don't start now to start reading, what will happen? You fail. There's a saying that goes, if you fail to plan, what happens? If you fail to plan, what happens? You plan to fail. Fantastic. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So as young people, if you want to, Continue your dreams, keep up with your dreams that you want to be a banker, a lawyer, a doctor, a pilot, an engineer, a nurse, a teacher, a lecturer, a professor, an artist, whatever you want to be, a, a musician, an actor, an actress. You need these five things I've mentioned. You need number one. Why am I here? You need to discover why you are here. Number two. Who am I? You need to know who you are. Number three. You need to be used to be me.
But that was before I got the perfect bag. It's handy and easy to use. All I need in one compact space, just like my MTN Extra Value Plan. I used to get one plan for my calls and then try to remember which data plan worked for me. Roaming was a totally different ballgame. Not anymore. I've got the MTN Extra Value All-in-One Plan. If you're a data buff like me, you get extra data with some talk time. And if you like to make calls, you get extra talk time with some data. And when I'm abroad, I automatically browse, chat, and call right on the same plan. MTN Extra Value was made just for me. More of data or calls, whichever one you prefer. MTN Extra Value is made just for you. My name is Anita and I'm 17 years old. What has kept me going all this while is just God and my inspiration for music and my passion to talk to teenagers. Actually, I'm an inspirational speaker. I talk, I write, I love writing a lot and I'm actually writing a book right now. So watch out for my new book. Thank you. I'm on body for victory. For me, everything is working perfectly. So far, my inspiration has been the mentor I found in my teacher There's two people I want God to bless for me. My mother and Mr. Nathiaka. That woman made me who I am today. The fact that I am one of the youngest people in Nigeria is something. It's all thanks to God, my mother and Mr. Nathiaka. I will not forget in my life, even if I am dead, I will still remember. I think it's right. I believe it was really important. Are you talented? Are you between 16 and 19 years of age? Then we have exciting news for you. Register and be auditioned for the 1910 reality TV series. How to register? Make a payment of 5,000 Naira to 19 Works GT Bank account. Keep your payment transfer details safe. Go to realitytv.19hub.com and fill the form. Record a one minute video of yourself being talented and upload to YouTube stating your name, age, state of residence, my superpower to audition video for 19 Reality TV. Copy your YouTube video link and place on what is your superpower alongside a brief story about yourself. Put in the details of your payment and click submit. Amazing! Keep checking your email to get our feedback. My name is Raymond Dokwa. Well, Kilichi, precious Zoku, and say no to drugs. Stay out of drugs. Habitual intake of illegal drugs is called drug abuse. It is a very, very terrible addiction that most youths go into. This is something they start and never stop. Most of them end up going through hospitals, taking drugs, cancers, and different things in order to end it. But most of them actually don't still end it at the end. It's so, um, I, I got to read the statistics yesterday about 40% of Nigerian young people between 15 and 45 are addicted to drugs in the country. And so it's quite um, unexplainable, you know, that our entire, in fact, less than, let's, let's say about 50% uh, of our workforce are almost on drugs. So it's, it's not something I could think about. It's terrible. Let, let me just use the word. Drug abuse is affecting the lives of youth. It's causing more harm than good. It's affecting you mentally physically like your intestines your kidney and everything and you start getting psycho like it's not it's not helping you and I don't see why people should do drugs or something. There are many drugs teenagers abuse down to prostamol teenagers abuse it. We have tramadol, we have ref, we have codeine and more others. Even down to smoking too. It works. All of them are all addictions. Um 
then if you could say that almost 40% of 15 to you know 18 years or 19 at some point are addicted to drugs, that means they cannot think properly. And then there's a sort of depression that comes on issues of you know uh, 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 drug abuse. And so when it's used excessively, they can't be productive, they can't uh, uh, think properly, they can't uh, uh, associate properly. I advise you to stay out of drugs. It's, it doesn't help you in any way. It doesn't. It just makes you feel good for a while, and that's all. It doesn't help you. So just stay out of it and be purpose driven. Okay. So. Um, I think you should think for, seek for counsel. You know, when you seek for counsel, it helps you move through the processes of going through uh, the uh, abstinence of drugs. So look for people who, uh, maybe a psychologist or a doctor, who's going to check you through and then also find a way to uh, 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 take day to day um, um, uh, short holes to get out from the drug addiction. This, if I tell them to stop, it's, it's never possible to tell someone addicted to something to stop that means. All I can say is look for help. Look for someone who could help you, who could tell you what to do. Obviously, you taking a drug, you're giving yourself an excuse, not a reason. So you need a reason to stop. Why you know you, you're having an excuse why you take it. You need a reason to stop it. That's the only address I can give.